We've just arrived at our new location. We are in the middle of this rocky desert right here. We are gonna be staying at this resort. So we're staying in the desert again, this time a bit more luxurious than the first time. So we're not in the empty quarter, but we are surrounded by total beauty and apparently we're all gonna be sleeping in little cabins. So I'm excited for this. It's gonna be a pretty cool night. And we're only here for one night. What have we found? An elephant. No, a, a big elephant. Look at that. Another new destination. I got Oscar in the back, Krill in the front. Hello. Driving one of the manual patrols today. Those are tombs, and apparently they just told us so. You go in, and it's basically just a little room. The more fancy they look, it means the wealthier the family was. Now this is fascinating and insane how they just build those into rock. That family right there on the left was balling. These tombs are from 3000 BC. Nuts. Think of how long it would have taken them to do the outside, to do the inside. To carve that into a rock that long ago. I don't know if the camera is doing this justice, but there are so many of them. Humans for context, oh, size of the tomb. What do you have to say about this, Tim? I don't think there's any words, it's mind blowing. The size, the camera doesn't do it justice, but it's absolutely massive. No, I probably sound like I'm repeating myself just saying it's insane, but I don't really have any other words. Look at the size of this. Huge. Time to hit the road again. Off we go. Ugh. Back into the patrol. We've stopped today in this beautiful area. This is actually one of the areas that they're going to develop for the most tourism in Saudi. So if ever you come as a tourist to Saudi, it's likely that you'll be around here. It's called Hagel, Hagel, I believe, this area around where we are right now. But we're in an incredible viewpoint where you can actually see four countries. So we're around where all the borders kind of come together. But in this one viewpoint, we can see four countries. So, we're in Saudi Arabia, right here. Then there is Egypt, there, Jordan, and then Israel and Palestine are kind of all the way over there. It's just incredible. So today, we're actually gonna go see some old wrecks. You'll see what I mean now. just about to head home and then before we decided to go back Sultan asked us if we wanted to come to a pretty special site now this plane back in the day apparently had an emergency landing here they thought they were spies or something they've basically never taken this plane people have taken all of the equipment that was inside but this is so cool and very eerie and spooky you to see an abandoned plane like this feel like something out of lost but it's incredible this is the engine right here this thing must have had a pretty rough landing because it's ripped apart very unusual to say the least as we go under the wing size of the wing it's massive I'm sure I want to stand under it too much. It doesn't look particularly sunny. Anyways, last little stop before uh, heading back to the resort. Okay, so today, completely different from any other day. It is my final day in Saudi Arabia, final day on this trip, and we're deciding to go out with a bang. Look at this behind. Some of the lads from Team Galang have taken some of the cars out and we've got some very, very nice and beautifully specced rides with us today. 458 Speciali to start with. I've never seen one with this nice of a spec. I mean, it is beautiful. The black wheels, the silver calipers, the Grigio something or other, but sort of Nardo gray color with the red and black stripe. This thing is a stunner. Carbon all over the place as well. It's got the blacked out logos, carbon front splitter, carbon uh, side mirrors, carbon side sills. It's got everything. Then we go a little more classic with one of these, which is one of the most popular cars. This beautiful 512 TR. This thing is stunning. Very harsh suspension on this. Driving here was hopping all over the place. Right next to that, we then have a 570S, which is very tasty as well. 
But next to that, we've got an extremely tasty F12 TDF. Now, this is one of the best specs and wildest specs I've seen. Gold and black stripe on a Bianco Italia paint, which is a very expensive uh, triple layer paint. Beautiful with all of the carbon. You can see on the diffuser, the gold wheels. Nice little F12 TDF gold uh, writing there. And little details like the black and gold mirrors um, and all of that sort of bring this to life. As you can tell, we have taken out a small tribe of bugs as well. Next to that, 991 first gen GT3 with a red gold, uh, gold cage, roll cage and red accents on the interior, very nice. Last but definitely not least, the rarest car here, one of only 25 in the world, the MSO HS688, uh, based on a 675 LT, uh, just beefed up completely. This one in matte volcano red and with a carbon fiber stripe. You can see there, that goes all the way down the bodywork of the car, over the roof scoop, uh, doesn't go over the wing, but it is a really, really nice touch. Carbon fiber just absolutely everywhere. But yeah, last day in Saudi, and we're kicking it off with a lovely convoy. This interior, guys, is lovely on this spec. Look at this red stitching right here. Beautiful carbon all over the place, including the door sills. Oh, my ring there is hitting. You've even got red stitching on the door handle right there. It's not really focusing, but it's absolutely gorgeous. All around the dashboard, full Alcantara. And then you've got in the middle of the seats and on the roof, now you've got this material in the middle. I've got in what they call it. It's like lightweight microfiber. Um, it's actually really comfortable. You don't see this in many cars. And it's really, really nice. I've never been a huge fan, but after spending time in it, it is lovely. Well, seeing as we're stopped, they seem to be taking photos of the TDF, so I thought I'd go see it. Such a light door, all in carbon. Oh man, this thing is badass. So cool. This TDF, next level with the gold. <laughs> Oh! <gasps> 